Hi everyone, Sam Evans speaking, another video for you guys on YouTube. Time is in analog 6.25 a.m. in the morning, in digital, that is 6.25 a.m. So, date today is the 14th of September 2018, and this video is called Lord of the Rings Minister of Hurricane Watch. So, this is what's going on currently at the moment across the, um, the world with the sea temperatures, as you can see. So, this is the Enso region. This is the area where we call La Nino or El Nino. At the moment, it's at neutral. Uh, though this goes back as far as the beginning of September, the 3rd of September, it's not the current picture. Um, we'll show you how much has sea temperatures changed through the first half of this month until now, roughly. So, this is the 3rd of September. If you look at how it changes, changes the colors in the water and the sea around the world globally, across, especially across. Here, this is quite a special part of the Atlantic. This is where we can tell if it's El Nino or La Nino. The moment it seems to be stuck at to end so neutral, so it's neutral at the moment. Oh look, see what happens. Watch it with, you, with your eyes carefully. I take it September. So. It is interesting, you start from the beginning and we go back. The third, fourth, well, not fourth. <laughs> the, 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 the sixth of September, sorry. Tenth, I think. But it doesn't look like to me we are going into. Here we go, third time around. And I need a joke out. Or any El Nino. We're stuck at neutral across here. I don't think I can ever remember my time. There might have been once, but I can't remember it. I was having an then so neutral winter for quite some time. Um, so it's 50 50 which way we would go with the weather this winter. The sea temperature up here is quite warmish. Um, Back, uh, that's probably an indication of a mild winter across England. That might help us help us quite a mild winter, or something of the cold, something of the mild winter. Mm, it's a bit dicey. We don't really know enough just yet. Well, we will know more by the time we get to November for a cold winter. End of October, November. That's when I should know roughly more about it. At the moment, it's looking a bit 50-50 split. Anyway, so that's that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. So, this is the Atlantic Hurricanes. This is live. This is just morning. Oh, this is live. Oh, yeah, this is live. Um... That is Florence, still alive, still kicking around. So now a Cat 1 hurricane, looking at it. South of um, Washington, D.C., that is actually up here. That's Washington, D.C., that's where Donald Trump stays. I reckon he's probably gone out of the White House and done some of safety as well. I hope he has. I hope he's not being stupid. <laughs> Sensible is what you want to have from the president of America. And all around here is getting washed away by a big storm. Lots of rain is the main worry. The wind's not such a problem now. It's about gusts about over 100 miles per hour or so. So it's steady winds about 90 miles per hour at the moment. So a bit like the hurricane we had in, well, the great storm we had back in 1987 sort of event. Uh, so it's a little bit bigger, I would say, on the size of it, but it's pretty close to the same one. Um, and then um, out here in the Atlantic, 
this is what's left of Truffle Storm, Helia here, and Truffle Storm, Florence. They're dying out across the Atlantic. I don't think they're going to be much of a worry for, for Ireland and, and for Ireland, Northern Ireland, or Southern Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, or for the Southwest of Cornwall. This stuff's just fizzled out. I think it's history. It's still, they're still both classified as, the, classified as the Truffle Storm. But once they leave this section off the west coast of Portugal and they get into these waters here, they'll just be an average storm. Uh, and I don't think they're going to be if it's a problem now. Just so some wind, some rain from Northern Ireland or Southern, Southern the Republic of Ireland, Southern Ireland, and Southwest Cornwall, Wales, and that's it. They don't have to worry about, in my opinion. Famous last words, if I get this wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> well that's what I'm looking at here. But it could, you know, you can never tell, but it looks like to me. It's not a problem, but you can never tell. This, you know, if the sea temperature is quite warm out here, they could they could get more powerful. But I don't think that it is at all to worry, to worry about that. Um, over here is Truffle Storm. There it is. You can see the circle start to rotate. Um, there, so that, that's a Truffle Storm. Um, Isaac, I believe. Um, heading across, yes, Isaac, the um, Caribbean area. In that way, hit Jamaica, which surprised me. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, so, that's, you know, what's going on there. Well, look, if it's still going, there's another storm system. It's a, a, a typhoon across the southern world, hitting the Philippines. Here we are. I say that's probably either Category 1 or a Triple Storm now, but it looks like a Category 1 or Category 2 typhoon to me in the Philippines. Don't know why it's not on the news, this story. Quite a major typhoon. Typhoon takes two or three on the Richter scale. It's got its, you can see the circle, the eye of it in the middle there. Yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, and there's another one here for me. It's a total storm at the moment, or depression, there. So there's a lot going on the other side of the world as well. Not just the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Western Pacific is having typhoons. Um, Australia's still having a drought. And there's more of these, like I showed you in the last video, uh, little waves of um, storm, storm, thunderstorm clouds, cluster storms, heading across Africa, and one of these could make it to the Atlantic. But I think you just saw on the video um, with the sea temperature over here on the west coast of Africa. It's quite cool water, so I don't think these are going to be sort of worrying a thing to worry about too much now. But you never know. You never know. You never know. Get an eye on this. So there you go. England's having a wonderful, beautiful day. Quite quite a nice, last, nice, peaceful day with nothing going on too much. A little bit of rain to the northwest, but looks like that's it. Uh, Spain and the Grand Canary Islands, I think. Oh, lovely weather there. Uh, so there you go. We'll look at the hurricane prediction. Okay. So, that's Florence. 91, 99 per hour gusts. Oh, well, 99 per hour stain winds. Gusts all the over that, um, I imagine. Um, so, I'll look, see what the prediction is. From the computer model, this is not guaranteed. And the sun's not the it. So let's say up to Sunday, 8 p.m. in the morning, that is guaranteed. After that, we don't know. But if it goes this way, that would be a lot of rain up that part of America into Cal calendar, up that North America, straight into cal calendar, calendar up here. Um, if it goes that way, it'll head towards Greenland, dump all the, the tropical air into Greenland. Now. Be good for a cold winter indication. Um, so that's what that's predicted. Uh, so look, they got lucky. It's not a major hurricane hitting the east coast of that part of America. They got very lucky. That's the Lord for that. For that, thanks to the Lord. Um, this is a tropical storm. Uh, Isaac heading west, going upwards. Uh, that's a depression there. After that's uncertainty, but this looks like this is going to weaken. But if this if computer model is right. I don't know. I don't don't look like it to me, but it might well be right. Um, so yeah. So as far as I can guarantee it, Sunday, eight p.m. 
is guaranteed. After that, we talked about fantasy world. And then um, this one here is what you must pray. These are the storms I've talked to you about heading towards Europe. I don't think they're going to be a problem. Um, that's just dibbling around there. And gonna, it just looks like it's going to die out across the uh, Atlantic. Right, well, I'll merge with the other storm by the looks of it. Like they're going to merge together. Um, so that's Helia. That one's predicted to hit the Azores. This is what we call the Azor Islands. Down here, you see those yellow markers? Those are the resorts. My parents have been there on holiday. It's a lovely place. They're really quite... They're not very... It's not a very hot, warm place. They are little islands. They're quite vulnerable to big storms and stuff. They can get hit badly sometimes. They've got volcanoes there as well. I don't think you know about the new resorts. Um, but yeah, up to about Sunday, 8pm, it's there. And if it's stuck in that direction, the path, look at that. If it's stuck in that directional path, it hit the Channel Islands badly and the south coast of England. Um, but there's a lot of uncertainty. But if the waters around here are quite warm, it could power up a bit more. But if the waters are quite cool, it also stay as it is. It might just whizzle out and it's be bound a broken weather front and a, a flabby low. We'll see. But I think I think it's dying out. And that's my prediction that I reckon it's going to die out across the Atlantic. The last video I made, it's going to die out. It looked like it was dying out. It might reiterate itself, but I think it's going to die out. I don't think it's going to be able to worry about it too much across Europe. But we'll keep an eye on it, and I'll let you know what's going on. That's my prediction at the moment. Um, so there you go. And this is the, the prediction for um, Ireland, Southern Republic Ireland. And this is, um, let's go to Monday. So it says Sunday. So it's rain that day, the winds are starting to pick up. This is called uh, Cook Airport. I can't read entirely. Yeah, Cook Airport. Um, the pressure for the next day, Monday. There you go. One thousand. So a lot going on and we can look at uh, be using Cornwall the next week not too bad brush is a bit the same so if you like this video give me a thumbs up and it means the many up made the means the few and swipe my youtube channel and may the force with you always Thank you for listening to Sarnevans and goodbye everyone.